Well, guys, it's another service call, and they said fuel leak on this, but I'm seeing that's not fuel, that's hydraulic fluid from the fan drive, it looks like. Let's pop this off of there real quick and see what we got going on with the fan drive. I've done a lot of work on this tractor. This lift pump went out here, and on these 9430Ts with the 13.5 liter power tech, there's six wires going to that fuel pump. Okay, so that being said, um, they're really working the ground out here. They got one Fent Vario over there. That's an 8310RT sitting right there, and then another Fent Vario right there. And I probably won't touch those Fents. Who knows if I ever touch them. They've got the fence have got a, a stellar warranty on them they have a five year uh five year, five year i don't remember if it's unlimited hours I, I don't remember i know it's five years but from what i understand they're responsible for, on the part of the warranty they're responsible for everything for the uh, uh even the services on it I thought was pretty wide. No, let's see. I put all I put all those injectors in it this winter. This tractor, and then what are you doing, Josie? You going places? Are you? You going places? This thing's leaking pretty bad. That is hydraulic oil from the fan drive leaking on it. Okay, so let's get her. Let's see here. What do we got? Yeah, see the oil sitting in there with this thing is that the fitting leaking or what's going on here it's hard to tell with the shroud on there but it's slinging it all over the freaking place um it's coming from right on the end it looks like just a fitting or something leaking on it it's almost like i need to pull the shroud and shove the shroud forward or something and I can't really tell what's going on I can't see in there I miss you can get my head shoved in here it's leaking up inside this oh it's leaking right now it almost acts like it's a fitting or something leaking you know what <laughs> Hmm. Ow. My head. Well, guys, we're pulling the shroud forward on it so I can see what's leaking on the front of the tank here. Hydraulic oil, something with the fan drive. There's a lot of unique things about these. Uh... Tractors. Once I get this loose, I'll explain a little more in depth. Days I'll get there. Oh my gosh. I'll pull that other shroud loose. I'm trying to see what exactly is leaking on the front end here. I might have to get on the parts description to find out what's leaking. Come on, man. 
trying to keep from taking that whole other side panel and all that other shit loose over there. Okay. Finally. Which I'm going to have to anyway, or can I see it from here? What in the hell? Must be a seal or something out in that. Okay, so a little explanation here. A lot of <laughs> there's a lot of different things on these these 9430Ts, even the 8000 series. These have a variable speed fan on them. See right there, there's a fan speed sensor, and it's like if you ever been around a snowmobile that has shivs on them. Uh, the primary shiv here will once the speed and rotation goes up it's hydraulically driven this one is this one's hydraulic this one's speed driven here and this shiv here will narrow up pinch tighter for higher fan speed this one will widen hydraulically and we got a leak here on the front end of it which it's almost like impossible to see even what the hell yeah, it's coming right off the end of that. You can see it dripping right off the end of that. Like, maybe the hose is leaking or something. Maybe I'll go around here and take this other side panel off. They said, oh, it's got a fuel leak. That ain't fuel, man. <laughs> Anyways, I put injectors in this thing this winter. And they made, like, made it like one day. And they said it wouldn't start. Great. That sucks. That means that whole little thing spinning in there. Well, that really sucks, dude. Um, the little. The little deal that's pressed inside this is spinning inside there and it won't come out. So, um, golly, what a pain in the ass. Get this one bolt out right here. Are you being a good girly? Oh, look at that girly. She's so pretty. She's just so pretty. She's just so pretty, just sitting there being all pretty, laying in the dirt, huh? Well, hi, Bubba. What are you doing, Duka? Old Duke boy. He's a good guy. What are they pulling? This old Wilcox? What is this, a six bottom? Six bottom Wilcox? Rollover plow? Pretty good sized plow. This is plenty of horsepower for that plow, I'll tell you that. Uh, just want to try to see what I need for parts or what have you on this thing, but got to get to what find out what's leaking first. Really nice, this stupid panel would come off of here, but another one this it'd be really handy in this situation right here I'll tell you that that thing come out of there
That ought to make life a little bit easier, huh? Getting that piece of shit out of the way. Hell, it's leaking. Yeah, is it that banjo fitting leaking there? So that little bitty nipple you see sticking out right below where the banjo fitting where the pressure line goes into it what that is you'll see that little plastic line that's sitting there alongside that's supposed to hook to the end of that fan hub and that's a leak off line if the seals start leaking in that it's basically not supposed to let the oil do what it's doing right here and leak all over the fan and blow it everywhere it's supposed to just leak on the ground so but somebody's busted that it's, it's just a little bitty banjo bolt that goes in there on the end of that, and somebody's broke that off, and which which I've seen them broke off before. But as long as the seals inside are good, then it doesn't matter. It ain't going to leak, you know. So if that's leaking oil out there, you got seals that are out internally in your fan hub, the in the primary fan hub there. All right, I'm in the process of getting that. Primary band shield off so I can see what the hell's going on. Damn crazy dog, crazy dog! Should be able to go ahead. Easy, you can pry that. Sometimes you can pop them off like this too if you're pulling the fan hub off. Like we are. Let's see if this will work. Sometimes you can get them off like this. Sometimes you can. figure out what I'm going to do here. Figure out, I got to get that ratchet off of there. that and pop the belt off of there but this one's not wanting to do it this shit here's kind of in my way a little bit if I just pull it off you gotta keep track of this little shim that goes in here don't lose that that <laughs> of course it's heavy and it goes to the ground so ah. Ah. let's go take it and put it on the bumper so the wind started blowing on me here so i'll do a little voiceover so there's just two allen heads on the back side of that fan hub pull the two allen heads out they're five millimeter and then <clears throat> once you get those out that slides right out of there and then all your seals there's seals on each side of that hub on that one ship there there's oh there's like a a dust seal on the very top on the outside on, on each side of that 
and then there's a uh, actual piston seal and then there's a, a wear ring and on the other side is pretty much the same thing but they're just smaller and <clears throat> sometimes on these what I've noticed that and even some even on the swivel fitting on the end of that the o-rings will get hard and brittle and they'll leak there too uh, but usually when I've seen them leak out of the leak off line like that it's usually the seals internally are leaking is what I've found in the past so and, and a lot of times you can't even really tell by looking at them They're, they won't be cut or anything but they'll get they'll kind of get hard and brittle on you and and they'll leak past there and you'll hear sometimes you'll you hear your, you'll hear your fan if they're leaking bad enough and the leak line's still on them and and the guys don't notice you'll hear your fan hunting up and down up and down that's a sure sign that it's leaking well guys, we're back at the 9430. We'll see what we got for parts here. Got about every seal that I saw on the breakdown. Let's see here. That's that big backup or wear ring. Another seal there. see where they were breaking down the uh, one piece and where the little swivel fitting where the oil goes into it. I didn't see where they were breaking it down and, and Wayne said he couldn't find it either. It looked like he had to buy the whole piece. Watch it not be in there. piece at uh, yeah. I still don't see huh. what is this here what the fuck is this right here fan kit taped up like you wouldn't believe. Okay. This is supposed to be the updated version here. Yeah, this is the updated version of this this is an older version it updated to this that's why we had to buy this entire assembly okay so we should probably read some directions on this probably important okay so there's a couple i know what those are for and that'll go around here and the snap ring will go over that Okay, so what is this shit here for? Uh, about that. Okay, oh, what is all this? Yeah. Your donator can download and print the instructions from the web address shown. Vote. Blah, blah, blah. So it's, it's telling you to basically go to some website and I have no service out here. Okay, cool. So, do they ever think about things like that? That you might be in a place where you have no service? Okay, well, I guess we'll just have to figure this shit out, huh? Or we'll get on the service manual. But, I gotta make sure that I'm doing right first, I guess. 
have no service and I left my freaking laptop at the shop so we're just gonna have to figure it out well, I'm just gonna go off the way I think it should work Get a little slickums on this right here thinking I know for certain that the uh, this little keeper here but I'm thinking this uh, o-ring is actually going to go down right here in this recess just like that okay I'm trying to remember the snap ring situation here uh, where did that snap ring it actually held it goes down in there okay screwdriver take this push down on that get that o-ring in there it looks like it's supposed to This little clamp type thing you gotta stick this in there just like so and you take this here snap ring I just did a I put a clutch in a an FL70 about like my truck today for a rancher. Cannot believe that somebody somebody stuck a single disc clutch. I don't know if that was a factory thing, but it was a single disc clutch, and it had clutch fingers on it like a pickup, you know. And we called and ordered a clutch based off the VIN, and they said, "Well, that shouldn't be in there. It should have a dual disc clutch in it." So, it was a little odd. Wait a second, dumbass, this is the internal snap ring. You're going the wrong way, monkey. Well, I got that done, and then... This, finally got the parts for this, so we can... this thing going again because we're trying to all these guys are trying to get some of this plowing done while there's still some moisture let's see here this is kind of a tricky wheel here on it and push down there we go push it in there it would appear that it is maybe I'll give it a little tap a root huh
Tap, 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 roo. Make sure my snap ring is seated up where it needs to be. I think we're good to go there. So I think that part's pretty well together. So I got new banjo washers, the bolt that comes with a new hose. Okay, and then that vent line. What does that vent line go back to? I don't have to look at that, but that actually will attach to that. Okay, so uh, start going through all this shit here. Oh, okay, so let's dig out. I should have. That new. There's that crazy gray dog, and there's old Duke over there. Dig this out of here. And is this a lip seal or what have you here? I see. I see. We gotta pop this seal out to get that one out. Okay. Actually, I could probably do it with that screwdriver. If I could locate it. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Where the hell did I put it? Right here? It's right where you left it, you dumb bastard. Tap, tap a room, tap a room. Spent a lot of time out in these fields. Worked for this company for I don't know how long. Okay, there's that seal. And we should have, let me get a pick. And here's another seal. Just before I destroy that, do I have another one? What the hell, huh? Why wouldn't it be? This is it right here. Okay. About ready to get nervous here for a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's not good. Where in the hell did that? Okay. Oh, I'm so glad. I love working in this weather. After you've been in the cold and the miserable shit all winter long, it's just, you just can't wait. It feels so good to be out in the sun. I don't know how all these people that sit around in their house all day, I don't know how they do it. I really don't. I, it just drives me crazy, especially if the sun was out and it's nice out like this. I got to be out doing something, man. Feedlot over there, they probably at least a year ago, it might maybe even two years ago. I was over there working on stuff for them, and they got a big international feed truck. You've seen it, I've worked on it on videos before. But I kept telling them, I told them numerous times, I said, You know, your hub window's busted out on that left front steer axle hub. You want me to fix that? Ah, oh, no, we'll get it, we'll get it, that's okay. This went on for like two years. So they finally ran it clear out of oil. Luckily, it's just a feed truck and it just goes around, you know, doesn't go very fast. So it didn't destroy the spindle. Oh, crap. But it locked up the left front steer tire. You know, and I'm just... So then the guy, the manager, calls me. And now he's in a hurry. Well, you know... <laughs> uh, you know what, buddy? They've discontinued that certain hub that International put on that truck. And I'm having trouble finding one. So, I don't... 
it's just un unreal unreal people you sit there and you ignore a problem with a, a you, you know all your oil is running out of your hub window And then when it's completely ruined, then you're in a hurry. Okay. Whatever. Okay, this one will go right here. And then we'll just take this here seal, just like so. Pretty certain that's how that should be able to see my prime marks. Yeah. Yep, okay, I'm right. Now these guys are plumb on and they want to. And then I'll, I'm sure I'll have to hear about, I don't know why you guys are plowing. We don't plow here. We do no till. Well, yeah, you're doing corn. You're not doing row cropping. You're not doing vegetables and produce. It's a completely different soil. This is volcanic soil. That's in the Midwest. It just, you know, everybody's supposed to do everything the same all over the world. You know, it's unreal. These fucking people, man. Have you ever looked outside of the little window that you live in there that maybe there might be something different somewhere else? Chisel in there, I guess. Cut it in two, maybe. Finally, my gosh, that thing did not want to come out of there. Wow, wow, that's impressive. Well, guys, I was going to tell you a little story here while I'm putting the other seals in. So, I had a guy that was a YouTube viewer, and, and just keep in mind. The reason that I was rude to this guy on the phone is because he's called in the past and he's he's one of the guys that doesn't even offer to like, you know, hey, you know, I'll pay you for your time or anything, you know, just he wants free information. He wants you to diagnose something over the phone and you have to understand and hopefully he's listening or some of you other people that think about seeing the number on my door, which I should blur it out, I guess, but you just have to keep in mind that I'm busy. I'm really busy. I'm never not busy. And and, and I, I did this for years. I did help people out, and it's gotten to where it's just completely out of hand. I mean, I had uh, 11 of these phone calls today, 11 of them. And this guy, he he was the last one, so he unfortunately, he's the one that got the the extent of my wrath over the phone. I, I pretty much told him, listen, I don't have time for this shit. You know, I'm trying to make a living here, and I said, I'm working on customers' uh, machines right now that they're paying me to work on, and, you know, I don't have time to drop what I'm doing here and talk to you and diagnose something over the phone that's, that's half the country away. So, I, you know, if you're listening out there, uh, whoever you were there, uh, I'm sorry I was so rude to you, but... You know, you need to start thinking about other people than besides yourself. What's up, Duke? What are you wanting? Okay, you're wanting back in your truck, are you? What I do is I just tip it sideways and then loop it over the belt and then the belt holds it for you so it kind of works out pretty good. So, uh, you know, 
I got to see if I can get the bolts in it. That's always fun. That's got to go in further. I have no idea if I'm even close. I guess I'm going to have to put the camera over here or something. I got to wiggle and shake and these can be kind of aggravating to deal with here. have to come back tomorrow I'm just gonna tighten the shit out of them because some dumbass left his damn laptop there I really like torque and stuff like this but I don't know what the torque specs are on it my mind or what? Right there. up there or what? I kind of did. Damn it. Kind of screwed up there a little bit. Well, oh well. I'll pull this one back off. I'll have to do it the hard way. Oh well, I'll put it back on there and I'll have to loop this belt over here. Yeah, damn it. Oh well. I'm trying to cheat here a little bit. Let's see if my cheating ways. I got it worked. I took the belt and wedged it in between here because there's enough slack. Now I got it wedged in there. I'm just going to roll it like that. Back in there. Let's see. I'm going to get this thing done here <laughs> without pulling that other belt off. Those other belts are kind of a pain in the ass to pull off. So I'm going to put it up to what I'm going to do. She's trying to work her way back out of my bottom one here. I don't want that. back where you belong Ow. look at that <laughs> showed you some tough I showed that sucker some tough alright that right there around that idler oh man what a day put an oil pump in an N14 did a clutch on a put a clutch I, I didn't tear it out but I did install everything I put a clutch in an FL70 now this so it's been quite an eventful day let's see does this go like this and then, like that is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. Enough. 
suckers way over there, didn't they? Yeah, hold on. This one's not quite right here on this AC compressor. Wrong everywhere there. Okay, so I guess I'll put this new line on here and this this line here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull this out of here. This plug. Let me get my ducks in a row. Is there a nut on the back side of those? Sure, there is. Is it welded in oh at least they welded it in place okay so i got everything together Let's see what happens huh uh am i forgetting anything so that came with a new bolt this is all uh side shield stuff what did i pull those out of i'm trying to remember I don't remember what I pulled those out of. For some reason, I'm not recalling what I pulled these out of, guys. Maybe I should find out, huh? Oh, they came out of that lower shroud. Now I remember. Now I remember. Okay. All right, so here we go. for a little bit. Tightened up, they moved it in.
conditioner on. I think we got our whip guys i just got to put this lower shroud and the side panels back on i might just double check make sure these stayed tight I should do the other side first and then yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, man I'm getting hungry about time to get out of here I'm hungry let's go start one on the other side and then we should be pretty well lined up then These 13.5 liters in these 9430s, they had they had a VGT turbo and an EGR. That was the, all the emissions they had on these. And then they came out with the R series. These guys have got a 94, a 94 70 R2. Another one of those Milwaukee M12 or the scratches, but every time I leave before they open and I get home before after they close, so it don't work out too good. There's not nothing I'm gonna be hitting 
or something in here. One of them was a shorter bolt, but I don't know if somebody lost one and stuck it just stuck a bolt in there or what. But, uh, there's nothing there. Hit. guys I just got to put the side panels on I got to tighten these other bolts on this lower shroud and then that's it so all right well we'll be back with some more content here later on